Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Ward's adventure in Star Maid. So what's happening today? Well, if we get back into our body here, stand up. So we have some body damage here. We definitely have to redo the power here. I think I have to put some power things back in here. have to... You put a shield capacitor here, looks like it got destroyed. Up here we need to add another power thing. Here we need to put two cannons in place, another cannon there. So yeah, so I went on kind of like a looting trip. As you can tell, the gravity is screwed up in the game. Let's kind of take a look inside the ship here. And yes, I'm running on the server, and for whatever reason, uh, it's, it's lagged. Gravity sensors detected different structures interesting so in here we have our our cargo being completely extracted there was probably oh, okay there's a hole here we have to fix that that's from the attacks there was a pirate attack that I injured and then this missile pirate kinda was doing damage so there's all these damages here in the side yeah so definitely I want to finish the ship that's the main focus and so this is why we went on that little hunting trip 
so that way we could find some some resources, right? So let's actually, what's the easiest way to get onto our spaceship here? There is the teleporter. So let's actually go down into our base here because this is where everything happens. Uh, let's go down here and we can just teleport back up to our ship. So I will meet you down in our base. Okay, so here we are. We are now in our base. Let's proceed on. Now, everything should have transferred into here, as you can tell. Let's see here. And stuff should be transferring out, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure how well this stuff all transfers. Oh, there's some cargo stuff in there. That's cool. So the windows do work with the cargo. It looks like they did kind of fix that, which is pretty cool. Let's go down into our main area here and down here we sh should be able to find our storage here whoa <laughs> way more storage yeah because we collected a whole bunch of stuff so yeah so we need to there's black paint excellent fair to keen we need to we need that for you you, you know what for uh i wonder if our our production facilities are full too Let's take a quick peek in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I love this. This is just amazing, this cargo stuff. And all this stuff here is basically the pods and everything. And so this all needs to be slowly extracted back into the main kind of cargo area here. So all that kind of comes back. Change items to auto pull. Right now I have it set to 250 for everything, and that might not be enough, but... Yeah, it should be okay. So here we have our pickup rails. We have salvage modules. Maybe we can kind of drag those. What else can we pick up? Some shield capacitors. We might as well take those. This kind of stuff is all from the you know, those the pirate ships that uh, I found. There's some more missile tubes. Good. I want to re redo some missile tubes. Iron on effect, explosive effect. Oh, cool. Wonder if we have those ready. We can just add to those. Transporter controllers. We got lots of those. We might want to sell those. What's this? This is our white crystal armor. Astrotech module. Faction permission modules. Carb bears. We want to sell that because I don't really use it for anything. There's some red standard armor. Oh, there's some cinnabar. Cool. Which I think that does have to get processed. So does that mean? So this is going to get pulled. Is it pulling Cinnabar? I wonder if it's pulling it into here. Yeah, it is pulling it into here because then it's going to go in and process and turn the Cinnabar into capsules. Yeah, which then will return back into here, which then we can kind of use Cinnabar for red paint, which is exciting. So we have the basis for red paint. What else can we kind of pick up in here that we can use? We have a radar jammer, salvage computer. That's cool that we have extras of those. An another camera. Let's see. Hi Ooh, look at that. Highlight uh, ingot wedges. That's cool. Your purple hull wedges. Pink hulls. <laughs> Yellow paint. Brown hull. Gray standard armor. That's probably better than this stuff, the gray hull. Plex doors. Yeah, some of this stuff I already had. We've got Bobby AIs. Cool. We don't have to use those. Black hole, Hylic crystal funnel trap. What is that? Is that like a plant? I hope so. Yellow standard. Yeah, just kind of taking a peek. Push pulse module. Ion effect computer, real mass enhancer, that's cool. Undetonator, wow. We can actually put an undetonator here in our base if we so choose. Maybe we should because I don't know where my undetonator is. Let's grab the thruster modules. Damage pulse computer, carb sujil, we'll sell that. Yeah, sorry if we're doing this inventory management, but it's required. I tell you what, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be right back. 
Perfect. So here we are back. So there is some tech capsules. So we'll we'll keep that in here. So we do have that. There is the cinnabar. So we can kind of produce the paint colors at least. So let's take a quick peek here. Okay, so we should actually have one of these things here producing uh, producing something that is carved. And we want to carve stuff that we have a lot of. So maybe we'll take a look at that another time. I'll do that off camera maybe. So anyways, so in here, let's go into our build thingy-maboober. And maybe let's set this stuff up. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can change this into red paint right, six we gotta kind of start with the paint right that's the first step so oh is this because it's a standard factory okay so we need an empty regular factory i think these are all in use now making the gray hulls and stuff like that um yeah gray hull wedge blue hull okay so we'll have to change out that the factory here so let's hop into here let's do this all together so you can see kind of how the magic happens so go into here grab some regular factories they should be in here let's, okay basic factory right here maybe let's just grab each of these things so that way we have them and now we can remove this one. Okay, and then we can add a basic factory. Like so, all right? And then we can go C, V, and we go R, deactivate production, change production. Now we can type in paint. We want red paint, all right? But we need to add in chest. I didn't grab that stuff. So let's see. That sh should be in here. Storage. Yeah, this stuff. This stuff sh should be okay. Do that. Bang. Okay. This is the magic. This is how the magic happens. Okay. So now let's kind of rotate this thing. It makes a lot more sense. Uh, let's go straight up. Okay, perfect. Then we connect that with that one. And then we connect this one with that one. So then that way, what we can do here, we can all of a sudden turn on production. We can change items to auto pull, add single, red paint. How much to pick? Um, I don't know. Let's pick 200. That should be okay. And then up here, change items to auto pull at single 200. Um, actually, it's a what is that? Schema Dine 2000. Huh, that's cool. Not even sure what that is. Huh. So, let's see here. We want Cinnabar. But not carved Cinnabar. We, need, we want Cinnabar capsules. We want 200 of them at a time. Okay, so we got that. We can connect that one with this storage here. Okay, C and V to do that, All right? So now what that will do is we'll pull the cinnabar, and then this one, actually, if we connect that, we have to actually remove this one. Shift and V for all the enhancers. Now that will fix that issue. Okay, now there's 100 being produced at a time, which is perfect. Now we just have to replace that, this thing here. Let's see, this, this metal wedge. Perfect, okay, so now we can change this sign to, let's just say red paint, nothing pretty, nothing exciting, so that's red paint. Here we can put in another paint, 
Do I have any buttons? I don't have any buttons. So yes, this is what I do. So I tell you what, I'm going to set up um, everything that I can up until the point that I can't, and then I'll come back and show you all how it's set up. Oh, okay, so it's been much, much longer. So I'll show you what I've done here. I've set up new, so I've set up a red paint, black paint, and then the appropriate kind of pulls. You red hull out of this one, so then all the appropriate pulls happen for here. We have black hulls here, which then get pulled into here for advanced ar armor, which I don't have activated at the moment. If we turn off our light, we'll see that this part is dark. If I activate this, then these will turn on. And then the advanced hardener and stuff will get used up to create this. But I've run out of materials. I've run out of tech. So that means I can't make any more black stuff, which is the main color. The red's more like a highlight. And once I made these, then over here I'm going to make the advanced armor. And then we'll make the appropriate pieces from there. So yeah, so it's been a long haul. I'm going to have to do another kind of you know, trip for some tech. We're still looking for that kind of stuff. And yeah, and so other than that, hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of little episode just about me, you know, about my ship with the battle damage. And, you know, I'm going to have to repair that thing and, and uh, you know, setting up the production here for all of the the appropriate building materials that we're going to need and so yeah so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one bye bye